Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be doing a different tutorial. This is more of an overview, kind of talking about all the different pieces. And the reason why is because I thought I was recording earlier, the second part of my tutorial. And actually when I went to go click end, I realized that's when I was actually starting the video. <laughs> so there were a lot of cool things on here. Um, so I just want to go over it. So let's get started. The overall thing that I want to talk about is you can see all the different types of um, cardstock that I use. There's lots of colors and textures on here um, that makes it all like, you know, when you have the contrast, then certain colors pop more. Um, so I almost feel like I should turn off this light. So let me see if that's better. Oh, it is better. You can see it. A, yeah. So the uh, first of all, you know, on, on any of these projects, I feel like as much as I put a lot of thought into it and I pull the papers ahead of time, there's still a lot of uh, changes that I ended up making. Originally, I wanted the outline to be this black glitter cardstock, so you can still see that. I, I kept the outline, but I had her hair be regular black cardstock and it actually didn't look as good. So I went back and cut it. So what I did instead for the hair is for the black pieces, and this is gonna look super seamless because I had it designed like this. I had it designed that she has a part down the middle of her hair so that it's really like six big pieces. So all these pieces fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock as well as her face and everything on here, um, except for the sign at the bottom. The sign at the bottom is something I added. So I let myself, I really wanted to use this um, silver and this silver is 12 by 24 cardstock. It's in the open cardstock section at my Joann's and I absolutely love it. It really sparkles, it's chunky. Um, so I absolutely love it. Anyway, um, so what I did with these pieces, the black one, I have foam tape so that it pops out a little bit. And you can kind of see it here too for the, do you see how it pops out a little bit? So in person, you get like this depth and this feeling of um, more than just it being a flat piece. Now using the different cardstocks, so there are two greens on here and you can see um, I went with a really light green for her eyes and I just think she's gorgeous. Uh, so it's cards, uh, glitter cardstock for the white and the green. And normally I don't like using glitter, glitter, glitter because I feel like it kind of washes all the colors out and you don't get the pop. But in this case, because the green is so beautiful and it's such a contrast with the black that it's still, her face looks amazing to me. Um, the other thing is then with the red, I went with regular red, um, and here it is glitter and glitter, but I think it's okay because the colors are so different, right? The black from the light pink, um, purple-ish. Um, so the red is regular cardstock just to make sure that it doesn't wash out in that whole thing and make it look so harsh on the eyes to look at. Um, this cardstock for her skin, I think her skin looks absolutely gorgeous. It's this like rich, um, dark color. And so I mixed it up with the color that I used for Tiana, so for her lips. And so this, these are two colors in my cardstock collection, which I'm super excited to roll out soon, hopefully this month for pre-sale. Now the green, I was, I got sidetracked. Um, I knew I was gonna use two different greens on here. I really wanted a striking light green for her eyes, which I absolutely love that color. And so for the jewel piece, I ended up using foil and you can kind of see, it really looks like you know like jewels right it's so pretty i love that there's two greens and it's two greens that are totally unexpected um and my other piece on here that i really love is her suit so this paper it looks it's dots it's the swiss dots from basil and so it looks like a real suit material i absolutely love it um so you can kind of see I didn't want to go with regular black, but I wanted the um, the glitter to have like a contrast. So that's what I did there. And then because she's this like guardian, um, I like the sort of, it makes me feel like it's an FBI font. And same thing with the banner. The banner is like very straight across instead of like all, you know, like wavy, like I normally do with the princesses. So it just felt very, um, like 
mechanical and like technical, I don't know. So straight typewriter font, um, everything is layered. So the banner has foam tape here so that it sits up a little bit. And then the, um, this part is too thin, the letters are too thin, so I didn't want to deal with cutting up foam tape, but the out, the offset, the outline was thick enough so the outline is sticking up. So the whole thing's got, you know, a couple layers here. You have the layers in the hair. I'm gonna flip it so that you can kind of see on the side what that looks like. I don't know if that's gonna work. Not really. So anyway, um, so that's what I did. Now, um, because the background is glitter cardstock, I did use glue. So I use Barely Art glue um, for, you know, anything that was going to be light, which her skin is, I believe this is a hundred pound cardstock. So it's pretty thick. It's durable, but I didn't want to use my hot glue gun on it. So I only use my hot glue gun when it's glitter on glitter and I knew that it could handle it. Um, for the foil and the card, the gold, and this gold is so pretty. It has like gold strands. So it actually looks like, like real gold. I don't know. <laughs> it's like got the, the, the flakes on it, um, kind of. So anyway, um, yeah, I just love all the different colors. I'm sorry. I thought I was recording, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was just letting you know that I added foam tape here. Um, the pink purple part is flat on there. And some parts I couldn't glue down like right here, it's popping up, but it's not distracting. It's not showing a seam, so I'm gonna leave it. You could always go back and put um, like a foam tape dot you know like one of those circles and I would just like roll it up like this and then jam it in there um all right that's all that there is to it let me show you the back the foam so this one's for me and when I do um make it for parties I always ask where it's gonna go so if it's gonna be on a table and it's gonna be propped up against the wall this is good if it's something that's gonna be shown where people walk behind it what I would recommend is I like using the um, the crepe paper in the back to make it look kind of like um what's the other thing not crepe paper streamers I mean it's the same material but people know it as streamers you can get it at the Dollar Tree store so then you can do it so that you don't see the white foam board here and let me show you if you can see it yeah it just looks nicer it looks nice and wrapped sort of like a pinata but a uh, sophisticated pinata if there's such a thing <laughs> so um, the back as long as the majority of your character is covered and I used a 300 GSM cardstock on this so these things are not um, fragile so you can see I don't need to bring it out here and cover it with foam. Um, you can if you want to, um, but I knew this one is for me, I, I didn't need it. So as long as, you know, for me, 90% of it's covered, it's gonna be stable, it's gonna last forever. Um, and if you really wanted to, sometimes I would use like um, straws and I would put the straw like right here so that this whole piece is um, connected and strong but you don't have to cut the foam so thin and these days I, I'm dealing with carpal tunnel right now so it's hard for me to hold the blade and press down really hard so it would give me I would have a hard time cutting foam board around these braids so this is this is what I would do I would do this and worst case scenario if you don't like the way this looks and you couldn't cover it with the crepe paper I would do another layer of foam board on top um, and it just you know it covers this part and you'll have this sticking out but it, it wouldn't look bad um all right that's all i have for you i'm sorry that i messed up the recording but this is kind of nice let me know if you like this kind of overview so i can talk about you know uh, the little tips without you having to watch me do the whole thing because you might not make this character but you might want the tips for your other character but look at she's gorgeous huh i absolutely i mean I love her. I'm going to put her next to me so you can see how big she is. She's 27 inches and she stands propped up so you can't even sit there so you can see my hands. 
I'm not holding it. It's just propped up against my face. So um, you can see she's really, really big and gorgeous and she photos really well. They're like <laughs> I love her. So anyway, um, stay tuned. I have more coming and let me know what you want to see. Um, I can always like if you have a specific question, I can cover it in depth on my next character because I do so many characters that I can afford to do that, right? Um, not every video has to be the same from beginning to end. So just let me know. Thank you so much. Bye guys.